All right, guys, so oftentimes as nursing students, you want to talk to whoever knows the most information about the unit or the patient or whatever it may be, and you go directly to the nurse. Well, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, that's not always the best idea. Many times, there's one more person who spends more time with the patient. They may not know the meds or they may not even know the disease process that this individual is on, but they know that individual. Who is this person? Who is this all-knowing individual who knows the person, the patient, the individual that is in the bed? That is the CNA. That is correct. As a nursing student, I would, of course, go to my nurse and ask them as much information as I could ask them, and then I would go to my CNA and say, hey, this is what the nurse told me. What can you tell me about this individual? As a someone who was a CNA and I was on a teaching unit as a CNA, a unit that had students come on it, I understood the importance of students coming up to me and asking me questions. Therefore, I understood that I need to ask also the CNA questions about that patient. As many times, CNAs spend more time with that individual than the nurses do. Now, everybody does do some sort of check-ins, assessments, med passes, things like that. And nurses have to do these things. However, the CNAs are typically the ones who are watching these individuals. And they've seen these individuals maybe better than the nurse has. Although the nurse does put a head to toe assessment in, sometimes giving that individual a bath, you have a little bit longer to take a look at them. They know, as bad as it's going to sound, they know their bathroom habits. The nurse may or may not know exactly how an individual uses the bathroom or how often or how big or how much or you know however it may go the cna does as they spend more time with these individuals as a nurse myself i understand that a cna oftentimes knows more about the person rather than necessarily the patient that that individual is and this is very vital information especially if you are a nursing student these these cnas are quintessential ideal people who help you throughout the entirety of your studentship we'll say your clinicals and learning from what they can teach you is very important now although you know some nursing students especially those who weren't cnas especially those who are bsns from the get-go you know i graduated high school and went straight to my four-year degree those individuals typically look down on the CNAs. Yes, I know, as bad as that sounds, it happens. People do look down upon the CNAs. It happens, yes, it does. However, I looked at them as equals and looked at them as very great assets. Now, some CNAs would tell you, you know, as soon as you got on the unit, oh, thank you for doing this person's bath <laughs> as soon as you get on the unit because as that nursing student, yes, you're going to be caring for every need of that individual. But some CNAs will tell you every little bit of information you need to know, you know, like the nurse may not know that, yeah, that person likes Coke, but they do not like ice. So give them a Coke with no ice. Or, you know, they may say, oh, you know, the nurse says that they like orange juice, but I've been bringing them apple juice and they've told me they like apple juice better. So they like apple juice much better. These are just little bitty things. I know that it's not very big information, but things like that, the CNAs know much better than the nurses do sometimes. And, you know, it could definitely help you out as a nursing student. Because as a nursing student, as soon as you get into clinicals, you're going to be in full-on panic mode, learning meds, learning disease processes, trying to remember meds and remember times and places and peoples and do your five checks, five rites of med passing and things like this and right time right uh was it right time right med right route uh right patient uh was it right quantity i can't think of the actual word for it uh amount i guess maybe i said that already anyways you're worried about all of these things and you're not really learning about the person and this is where the cnas really come in handy and learning who they are from the cna is very helpful and something you should take uh, uh, pride in knowing and you should you should ask these CNAs some CNAs are going to help you some are not most units uh, I've never worked a unit that did not have a CNA that was either in nursing school just finished nursing school and waiting on their NCLEX or was doing prereqs of some sort every unit I have ever worked on as a CNA or as a nurse has always had a CNA on it who was 
furthering their education every single unit i've never i've never not worked a unit without some sort of student or graduate of a nursing program that was a cna um you know they are they are working just as hard as you are many of them are very very intelligent most of them are very intelligent every now and then you get some people who just want to sit there and collect a check yes yes it does happen but for the most part these are very intelligent individuals who do care about their patients and do want to have them do good and you learning from these CNAs is something that you can you can hold very helpful in your mind. So I hope that helps. If you like this video, check this one out over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe over there. I hope it helps. Thank you much.